What is the first thing that comes to your mind when I say coral snake? I'll give you guys a few seconds to think. Okay, time's up. Let me guess, it's a venomous snake that has red, yellow, and black bandings. Am I right or am I right? Damn right, well, at least for a large percentage of you. I don't blame you. I mean, that's the first thing you see when you Google coral snake. I just got back from my friend's place in which I saw a snake that I've never seen before. I don't know if it's a common snake or not, or that I'm just living under a rock, but this right here, this is a blue coral snake. Yep, you heard me right, blue. Not a red, nor yellow, nor black not all combined, but a blue coral snake. Just look at that. Tell me that doesn't make your pupils dilate because mine sure did when the first time I saw this snake. It has got to be, well, actually it is, the most beautiful snake I have ever seen. I mean, just look at the snake from the head, how the red slowly blends into the blue and how like the separation between the dark and the light blues on the body just perfect, man. Just perfect. I have to give props to Mother Nature because she really put in effort on this one. I'm sure there are more beautiful snakes than this, but from the ones I've seen till today, this, just this, yep, perfection. As it is, it's rare enough to catch a snake drinking water. Having snakes, I've only witnessed them drink out of their water dishes a handful of times. Fortunately, I was at my friend's place at the right time and I was super lucky enough to witness this beauty drinking water. It is truly an experience to witness something as such, considering it being a rather shy and secretive snake. But don't let that fool you. Despite it being rather chill, I'll put that in quotation marks because yeah, we'll get to that in a bit. There's still coral snakes and you still do not want to take them for granted. Let's slowly move into what this species is all about. Scratching your head trying to figure out what to get your loved one or maybe just yourself for Valentine's Day? Well, we've got you covered. Let's forget about those chocolates. That's gonna disappear once you've finished eating them. Just for this February, we've got new merch design. <laughs> so this season's merch design will be of our beloved Cosmos Elegant, also known as the Trinidad Dwarf Tiger, or better known on this channel as the Heart Butt Tarantula. Yep, check it out. Links in the description below. Now, the blue coral snake, scientifically named Caliophis vivergata. Uh, I hope I pronounced that right. It's a snake indigenous to Southeast Asia. They live around 100 to 1,100, whoa, that's a big gap, meters in elevation. No, not in the trees, they are a terrestrial species. Being a medium-sized coral snake with a slender body, yep, they're, they're pretty much slender all their lives, they reach up to an estimated length of 1.8 meters. That's about 180 centimeters or close to 71 inches. Or if you're more comfortable with feet, 5 feet 11 inches approx. That's as tall as a grown person. Well, well, not me, I'm, I'm, I'm super short. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't noticed already, this snake's head, tail, and belly is red. And of course, the blue body that gives it the name blue coral snake. Yep, absolutely stunning. Now, a lot of times as a young juvenile, they get confused with the harmless pink-headed reed snake since they're both of similar colorations and habitat. However, the blue coral snake is potentially lethal. Yep, you heard me right. This beautiful creature, lethal. Oh yeah, they're also pretty similar to the red-headed crate, which is also a snake you don't want to mess with. Yep, you just don't. Speaking of confusion, this reminds me of the more common coral snakes that are also confused with other snakes. The main thing I'm on about here is the rhyme. Yeah, the rhyme. Let's talk about this. There are a few coral snake rhymes out there. One being the one that I know, red touches yellow, kill a fellow. Red touches black, friend of Jack. Okay, now, please note that these rhymes are, okay, I wouldn't say they're false, but they're unreliable. Now, if you're not 100% sure on the species you see, I'm talking about the rhyme I just mentioned where a snake has red and black bands together, and you go play with it. Um, no. Why I say this is because there are a lot of different types of coral and other snakes that have the same color, pattern, and bondings. You may think that a snake with red touching black is safe, but in fact, it could be a venomous coral. I don't know much about coral snakes, but I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. I've seen a lot of posts about how unreliable these rhymes are, so please, it's better safe than sorry. Don't be a hero and play with a snake you're not completely sure of the type. Okay. 
These guys' venom are unlike any other snake from what I've read. Blue corals have again, from what I've read, the largest venom glands of any snake, extending more than a quarter of their body length. Dang! Being a quick striker, yup, this one seems chill, but they are fast. The venom toxins effects will be pretty much immediate the moment you get hit. Based on scientific research, the fast-acting venom will cause your body's neurons to fire simultaneously, which could lead to almost immediate spastic paralysis. That's scary, man. That is scary. Why does the blue coral snake have such strong and fast-acting venom? Well, that's because they feast on other snakes. Yup, other snakes snakes and not just any other snakes they seem to like and are able to take down other venomous snakes even young king cobras oof even the king well maybe you could say prince since it's still young i don't know bad joke there but yeah they don't even stand a chant with this beautiful beast they're called killers killers for a good reason the blue coral's venom does not immediately kill these prey but turns on all of their nerves yo that is insane man causing the animal to pretty much freeze instantly that's crazy to even think of imagine being a fast moving snake all your life and suddenly another snake bites you and you immediately can't move mother nature you scary all right correct me if i'm wrong but if i'm not mistaken there have been two reported cases of human death by this species and there currently isn't any anti-venom in the market but being a rather shy and secretive snake like mentioned in the beginning they tend to stay far away from humans as they can so yeah but like i mentioned don't take them for granted guys don't these guys no just just don't anyway guys that's all the info i have for this beautiful snake if you have any other info or if i said anything wrong and would like to correct me do write it down in the comments below being one of the most beautiful snakes to my eye i'm all open to learn more about this species but yeah guys with that i end my commentary here hope you all have a good one stay safe and as always peace